hey guys and welcome back to another video and today's video we're gonna do something we haven't done before and that is paint a gaming mice make sure to stay tuned until the end so you can take a look at the final assembly of the mice with all its operating lights which is really really cool and if you guys are new here my name is ernie and i customize just about anything and create a branded merch for other companies so let's go ahead and get started so the mouse has already been pre-disassembled by custom controllers and now we gotta prep it by sanding it using our trusty DIY little orbital sander. So we have several challenges for this project. First of all, there's a lot of pieces and they have little tiny little holes all over the place. Not really sure if the paint's gonna go in there or not. We also are doing chrome on this particular item uh, as a base. So we wanna limit the amount of scratches that we have or you know the pre-sanding that we're normally used to doing uh, because that will eventually show and uh, project any scratches uh, through the chrome so uh, there's a, a little bit of guessing game or playing back and forth to see how much sanding you can do without it showing through the chrome but at the same time you want the paint to stick so that's a real challenge there we ended up using a light sanding pad, the brown one, and then just a little bit of the 440 uh, grid sandpaper just lightly around uh, the surface. And then we're gonna start by cleaning all these surfaces and then applying a little bit of autoborn sealer, which will allow us to get the adhesion that we need to start putting the chrome on there. We're gonna be using auto air 4104 Quicksilver and I want to thank the guys at Coast Airbrush for uh, letting me know what kind of uh, materials I need to be able to get it as chrome as possible so uh, shout out to uh, Coast Airbrush always coming through uh, with materials and uh, knowledge so let's go ahead and continue with this we're gonna be spraying the entire thing it says to uh, apply a uh, the Quicksilver over glossy black I did a test panel and turned out to be a little bit too dark for me so I'm just going straight onto the white uh, mouse itself. And for this quick silver, you have to shoot it straight from the bottle and uh, you wanna put down small thin layers of silver until you get the final result that you're looking for. Of course, if you lay it on too fast and uh, too thick, uh, you start getting a little bit of bubbles or a little bit of um, you know the, the, the chrome inside the paint sticking around certain areas of your item and making those areas look a little dark or a little funky. So uh, just make sure you take your time doing different layers. So this mouse needs to be a chrome gold finish and uh, we don't have that in candy. So what we're using is a little bit of brown and a little bit of green to tone down that brown and mixing everything together with uh, UV gloss. I'm gonna be spraying that over the silver. So they do have a metallic gold that you can spray uh, through and just, you know, as is, but we're trying to go for a little bit more of a chrome finish and have a little bit of a, um, a little depth to it. So that's what we're gonna be doing now. Essentially what you wanna do is tint the upper layer of chrome this way it looks goldish and has a nice uh, thickness to it with the gloss that it'll make it uh, look a little bit more interesting than just you know shooting it straight gold this reminds me of my friends that they used to paint lowriders back in the day and uh, he used to tell me that they used to lay one color down put gloss finish on it and I put another layer of let's say a graphic and then put an additional layer of clear over that and continue doing that and at the end you would have this nice effect uh, almost like a ghost effect uh, graphic on the lowrider so that was back in the day I'm sure there's different techniques that people are using now but uh, we're gonna take that in mind and use it for this mouse as you can see, the more layers that you put down of that uh, gold uh, mixture that we have, the darker the gold will get. So what we're doing now is comparing each item or each part against the other parts. This way, the color stays the same. Because if we overspray one of the, uh, you know, one of the uh, the parts, uh, it may look darker than the other ones. So just keep that in mind when you're doing this process. 
and as a reminder guys not only do i do one-off pieces i also do bulk promotional products so if you are looking to promote your business and need some shirts hats uh, you know cups mugs anything that has your logo on it let me know uh, in fact i'm going to leave a link in the description below you can take a look at all the items that we have available and of course we do gifts as well all right, at this point we have completely laid down all the different layers and we did about seven uh, different misted layers of that chrome tint. And uh, as you can see in the areas where there's a lot of detail or the holes, the paint kind of tends to pull up uh, and the metallics inside the, uh, the candy there. So you have a cool little effect, kind of like if it's burnt metal. So that's kind of cool. So. At this point, uh, we're gonna let that dry and uh, completely gloss the entire thing. All we gotta do is add one more detail and that's putting the logo back in there. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some traditional metallic gold, we're gonna tint it so it looks a little darker than the actual mouse itself and it really stands out. So let's go ahead and apply that stencil and put that logo back in there to make it look nice and pro. All right, we're gonna remove the remaining of the stencil, let that dry, and then gloss the entire thing once again to protect that logo, and we should be ready to go. So once it's dry, we're gonna go ahead and send it off to Custom Controllers for it to assemble. So stay tuned so we can take a look at what it looks like with the lights on. So for now, let's go ahead and enjoy what we've done so far. All right, and here's the final mouse already assembled with the lights on. I think it came out pretty nice. It looks better off a camera in real life. And uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And don't forget to watch this video until the end. I left a little bit of preview of some of the stuff that we got going on in the future. So hopefully I'll see you guys in, in the next video. And hopefully you guys are enjoying this channel. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.